Graduated in 1950 with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering after holding the title of undefeated welterweight boxing champion at the Naval Academy four years running. He was commissioned a Marine second lieutenant and attended the basic school in Quantico, Virginia, and in 1950 promoted to first lieutenant and assigned to flight training. In April 1953, Vincent was designated a naval aviator and was assigned to Marine Fighter Squadron 214 in El Toro, California. He was transferred overseas for duty with the 1st Marine Aircraft Wing in Korea and promoted to captain in 1954. After Vincent returned to the U.S. in 1955, he underwent test pilot training and served in the Flight Test Division at Patuxent River, Maryland through 1958. He was promoted to major in 1961 and reassigned to El Toro in 62 as Executive Officer of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 314, the Marines' first F-4 squadron. Vincent was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel in 1966, and from 67 to 68, he acted as Commanding Officer of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 312 in Beaufort, South Carolina. After completing the Industrial College of the Armed Forces in 1969, Vincent served in Vietnam with the 1st Marine Aircraft Wing as Executive Officer of Marine Aircraft Group 13, based in Chu Lai. During the tour, he flew 242 combat missions in eight types of fixed and rotary wing aircraft. He was promoted to Colonel in August 1970 and transferred to Hawaii, where he served as Officer in Charge of the Aviation Maintenance Management Branch, Fleet Marine Force, Pacific. Vincent returned to the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing in July 1973 and assumed duty as Chief of Staff. He was advanced to Brigadier General on February 27, 1976. In May of 78, he was advanced to Major General and assigned duty as Commanding General, 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing at Cherry Point in North Carolina. He finished out his career of service as Deputy Commander, Fleet Marine Force Atlantic in Norfolk, Virginia, until his retirement on May 1, 1981. Vincent was the first Marine to hit Mach 2, flying in an F-104 Starfighter. Throughout his 31 years of service, he has earned a total of 18 combat awards, including the Distinguished Flying Cross and Bronze Star. He is the only pilot to have flight tested or flown every active duty jet fighter in each branch of service, totaling 165 aircraft. He received the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award in 2005 and celebrated his 80th birthday with a parachute jump. To date, General Vincent has been listed in the Marquis publication Who's Who in the World every year since 1980. Nancy Nash will now present the Hall of Fame medallion to Colonel James Stewart, who is accepting on behalf of General Vincent, who is unable to attend. Good evening. I, too, would like to thank all the staff and the volunteers who have helped me so much uh, to make things very, very well. Uh, they are always so gracious, and uh, it's a wonderful honor for me to be here. Uh, I, at this time, uh, I would just like to make a remark, as, as the video said, I met Hal Vincent when we were in the eighth grade. And uh, we graduated from Otsego High School in 1945. So I am sort of representing our old friends. At this time, oh, I was going to say, I, I especially wanted to thank Danny, Don Sanborn, and John Bowes, who helped me so much during all these proceedings. At this time, I would like to introduce a couple people that are at my table. A young man flew in from California yesterday, and it is Hal Vincent's son, Dale Vincent. I just did it, Dale. Yeah. Also at our table is Major Sean Collins. He is the head recruiting officer 
for the Marine Corps for the state of Michigan. He's stationed in Lansing. And accepting this prestigious award on behalf of General Vincent is Colonel James Stewart, currently assigned to the Aviation Department Headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps. Colonel Stewart represents the Commandant of the Marine Corps and Marine Aviators of all generations over the past 98 years in honoring the accomplishments of Major General Vincent throughout his distinguished career. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you, as Nancy uh, mentioned, on behalf of the Commandant of the United States Marine Corps, General James Conway, the Deputy Commandant of Aviation, Lieutenant General, Lieutenant General George Troutman. I am in, in, a bit tongue-tied this evening because I am deeply honored and in awe of the talent of America, of our servicemen, women who have served before me, who continue to serve, and the talent that I see before me this evening. I would like to thank the Michigan Aviation Hall of Fame for recognizing the talent and accomplishments of Major General Hal Vincent for all of the firsts that he accomplished and for the legacy that he leaves behind for Marine aviators of today and those in the future. As you noticed in the, uh, the video, by the time that he left active duty, he had served and then flown in every one of 165 different type model series of aircraft of not just the United States, but our European allies, our partners, and our coalition forces, to include eight different type model series that he flew in combat. His fingerprints still are on marine aviation. And having followed the general through the Naval Academy, through Cherry Point, North Carolina, through Japan, I will tell you that he is still among the highest of heroes and the most adulated individuals in marine aviation. So it, w it is with a humble heart that I accept this award on behalf of Major General Vincent. I thank you for your service. I thank you for your time this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure if uh, we can acquire an aviation contract within the halls of Marine Corps Aviation today. But I'm sure that uh, if Major uh, Collins has a, a slot open, there is admirable talent here this evening that would fill those cockpits of today and tomorrow. I thank you for your time.